Okay, in this video, we're going to take a look at the total amount of theta that's staked and the total amount of T fuel that is staked. And then we're going to review the way your staking rewards are calculated. So stay tuned. Okay, it's Friday morning, April 30th. Let's take a look at the T fuel staking and what the explorer.thetatoken.org is showing is there are 591,121,786 T fuel that are staked. To get the percent stake of the total circulating supply, you would divide 591,121,786 by the official circulating supply, which is 5,287,889,600. And you can see that I've got those two numbers plugged in on the calculator, and it's giving me 0 0.1117878. So the current percentage staked is, let's say, 11.2%. So that's going to affect the amount of T fuel staking rewards that are paid. And then let's go up here and look at the theta numbers. The theta staking says that there are 59.06% of the total theta is staked. The amount that you receive as far as theta staking rewards is based on the amount of theta that you have staked and what percentage that is of the total amount staked. So the higher that percentage goes, the lower the rewards that you'll get since the amount staked is going up, but the amount you have staked is staying the same. So the way the formula works is of the available T fuel for staking rewards for theta, whatever percentage your stake is of the total amount staked, that's the amount that you receive. Okay, now that we've talked about the amounts staked of theta and of T fuel, let's talk about the T fuel staking rewards and how that works. Each year there is a 9% inflation and this will become effective with mainnet 3.0 uh, there is already a 5% inflation for the theta staking rewards and then with the release of mainnet 3.0 there will be an additional 4% of T fuel that will be newly minted each year for the purpose of paying T fuel staking rewards Right now, the T fuel staking rewards under the beta version of the Elite Edge node, they have set aside 300,000 T fuel per month for the purpose of paying those rewards. But once Mainnet 3.0 is launched, the 4% will kick in and the amount of available T fuel for fuel staking rewards will increase by about 55x so uh, there will be a lot more T fuel available for T fuel staking rewards after mainnet 3.0 is launched so the other thing to understand is the intent of Theta Labs is to have a zero net inflation in the T fuel supply. In other words, they intend to maintain the supply of T fuel at 5 billion, and the way they intend to do that is through the T fuel burning process, which they will create the new T fuel each year but then it will be burned off uh, through the burning process, meaning the T fuel supply will be maintained at 5 billion, give or take. So that also is going to come into play once they release mainnet 3.0. So whether they are going to burn off the excess T fuel right now, I don't know, they may they may not they may go ahead and leave it where it is I don't know I suspect they probably will burn it off because 
they have said that they want to keep the available T fuel supply at 5 billion so that's probably the plan would be my guess so anyway you've got these two pots of T fuel that will be created each year one which will be 5% is used to pay the theta staking rewards and one will be 4% which will be used to pay the T fuel staking rewards and they both work the same as far as how much you get of that pot that pot is basically split into just for the ease of, of talking about this let's say it's split into a daily amount so whatever the 5% for theta is you can divide that by 365 to come up with the daily pot that's available and the T fuel supply the 4% to come up with the daily amount would be the same you would divide it by 365 come up with the daily amount and then whatever percentage you have staked of either theta or T fuel whatever percentage your stake is of the total amount staked is the amount that you will receive in the form of T fuel staking rewards or theta staking rewards so uh, hopefully that all makes sense okay if you found this helpful Go ahead and hit that thumbs up button for me if you would on your way out and I'll see you in the next video.